YouTube, Aaron here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do conversion tracking with Google Ads so that way every conversion, whether it be a phone call or lead form submission, can be tracked. And this is so important because if you don't have conversion tracking set up correctly, then you cannot optimize Google Ads very well for conversions and thus you're leaving money on the table and perhaps wasting money if you don't know what's converting. Let's go into it. Okay, so let's just head straight into it. So we're on our Google Ads dashboard, right? And what we do now is we subscribe and like this video because I am a small YouTuber and every like and subscribe helps. And it lets me know that, hey, I should make more Google Ads content uh, just like this. Um, but what you really need to do is you want to go up here to tools and settings and then you want to click on conversions so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a new conversion action so there are going to, I'm going to show you guys uh, the one way I use to track lead form submissions and then I'm going to get into a couple of different ways you can uh, track calls um, so if you want to track of course leads form submissions you can click on the website here and then it's going to ask for a website domain. Um, you can just paste your domain right now, or you can paste any domain. It doesn't really uh, matter at this point. So I'm just going to use this old uh, page here. So do that, scan. And then it's going to, you know, uh, have you uh, automatically create events and stuff. Um, but the best way to do it to ensure it's done properly is to add a conversion action manually. So I'll make myself a little bit smaller. So what you want to do is scroll down, add conversion action manually. And um, what you want to do is you want to select the category. So this is a uh, submit lead form. And then you want to name it something. So I usually name it the name of the company. So uh, it would be like company lead form. And then um, if you have good like data saying, okay, I know that if people lead, if people leave a uh, submit lead form, um, I'm going to get around like 20 bucks, 50 bucks or whatever. You can use this value here, but if you don't have that value or if you don't really know it, you can just click on here. Don't use a value for this conversion action. And um, this is very important here. Make sure it's only one. It's not important if they fill if the same person fills out the form twice. So this option here may be grayed out for you if you hadn't added the tracking a previous conversion action before. Um, if it's not highlighted for you yet, don't worry. You don't need to worry about that. You can always go back to the settings once you set everything up and do enhance uh, cost per click. Um, I always do enhance cost per click. I don't just use manual bidding. I like to have my um, Google Ads semi-automated so we can click down here so once you do this part here you want to click on save and continue and then it's gonna Google's gonna give you all the code so what you want to do is you want to copy this snippet here and this is your you know this is the main Google tag so um, you want to copy this and then what you want to do is you want to, I'm using ClickFunnels in this example, but this could work for any uh, um, site. You want to go down and you want to paste that head, paste it into this uh, head tracking code area here. Like I have. So I'm not going to replace it on this point. Um, and then once you paste the head tracking code here, you want to put the conversion event snippet on your website. So you're going to see this blue icon here, see event snippet, and then you want to do on page load, and then you want to, you know, click on copy. And then what you want to do is you want to go on to the thank you page. So let's say this was like our main page that people go on. They fill out the form here, and then they go to this page, which is our thank you page in this case. What you want to do is you want to click on edit, uh, go on to the settings, Go on to tracking code, and then you want just to paste your um your your the event snippet here, and boom, that way you are tracking lead forms. So once you do that, I'm I just didn't save it for my example, but of course you would want to save it. You'd want to click on done, and then you are all set. So now if people from a Google ad fills out the form, 
it's going to be shown here in uh, the company lead form um, uh, area. So yeah, so that's step number one. And um, so now we're going to get into if you want to track calls. So I'm going to do kind of like the freeway, but it's not that accurate. And then I'm going to do the most accurate way, the way I track calls um, using a third party software. So what you want to do is you want to go on and click on new conversion action. And then you just want to click on phone calls. And then you want to do calls to a phone number on your website. And then you want to do, you know, calls to website. Of course, you want to name it. If you have if you have a value in mind, you can use it, but it's not that important and it doesn't really matter. You can use don't use a value for this conversion. Do it for everyone. And now with the phone number. So if you don't have a tracking number, you can just put your phone number uh, here. Like your, uh, you know, uh, business phone number here. Five, 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 five. Pretty much the number you have here. So let's say, for example, six, six, six. Uh, let's not use six. Let's use seven. That's lucky. Seven, 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 seven. So if this number is on your website, Google's going to replace it with its Google forwarding number. And then if people call it, it's going to call this number overall. So this is just telling Google, hey, this is the number on my site. This number is saying, hey, Google, when people call, you know, send the call to this number. Hope that all makes sense. Call length, um, I usually do uh, like 30 seconds because the person can always call back and stuff. And usually that's around the time it takes for them to like leave voicemail and stuff like that. So it cuts out all like if there's any spammy calls that come by. Um, so you click on create and continue. It's going to say set up the tag, install the tag yourself. You've already installed the, the Google tag, so you don't need to do it. The phone snippet, what you want to do is you want to copy this. And then you want to go back onto the head uh, tracking code. And then you want to paste it like a few lines below here. And then you are all set with your free way of phone tracking. But this way of tracking phone calls is not really that accurate. And if you do have, you know, $45 to spare, uh, I really recommend using CallRail. Uh, and I should have a link in the description below for you can get so you can get a free two week trial because you can get a lot more accurate data, call recordings, and you can you know qualify the lead. You can see the keywords that um that lead to the lead and stuff like that, and uh, right on the dashboard as well. And it's just generally a lot more accurate. So let's get into if you want to use CallRail for example, right? Okay, so if you make a new CallRail account, you're probably gonna see something like this. Because uh, if you don't have any uh, calls set up yet. So what you want to do is you want to create uh, a new phone number, tracking number here. And then what you want to do, you want to fill this out. I'll use it online. And then you want to say, I'll use it on my website. So you we want to choose this one, track calls, keywords, and web sessions. Because that way we can get a lot more information about the caller. We can see the keyword. We can see the landing page they landed on. And this is super important when it comes to uh, optimizing Google ads, not only just for the conversions, but the types of conversions that lead to profitable sales uh, for you, you or your client. If you use just this one, it's only going to be able to track calls. It will be able to tell you that, yes, you got a call, but it won't. it's not going to be able to send that information back to Google, unfortunately. So you want to do click calls and keywords. So it says, where do you want to route these numbers? So I'll just put my phone number. And then you want to go into tracking options. You want to go to all visitors um, here. And then it's, it's going to recommend that you create four new tracking numbers. So, and then you can name the website pool here. I think Carl gives you five free numbers. So if you uh, get this, then um, it's going to have, you're going to have a total of four numbers. Um, but it's, and I think each additional number after that is only $3 per number per month. It is well worth it for the conversion data that you get. So then what you want to do is, you know, go on to number features. And then um, it's going to ask if you want to do the call recording. So um, if you wanted to record the call, but not leave a message, but not say anything before to the caller, you can just leave this blank. So what the whisper message is, is that if the client answers the phone, 
uh, the client's going to hear, you know, whatever you have in the whisper message. So I always like to say, you know, call from Google ads, because sometimes if the client is taking calls from their personal phone, if you or the client taking calls from the personal phone, um, they may like, and you answer it and you don't know who it is, you may answer unprofessionally. So if you hear this short message before it plays the call, I find that, okay, hey, this is, you know, a potential lead. Let me kind of turn on my game face. So then you can click on activate tracking number and then that's going to be all set. I'm not going to do it in this case um, because I don't want to have to get extra numbers that I'm not going to use. So once you do that, it's going to uh, go take, take you to the website pool settings. And I'm going to just go to one of the website pool that I've already created and show you what to do from there once you created a website pool. Okay, so once you create a website pool, you should be on the menu uh, here. Um, if you don't see it, you can just go onto the settings and click the proper company and it should be all set. So once you do all this, what you want to do now is go on to integrations. Okay, so once you're on to once you click on integrations here, you want to go to the Google Ads integration here. And then once you do that, you should see like an option here that's gonna let you connect to your Google Ads account. And it's very straightforward, very easy. And then here, what you want to do is you want to create separate conversion actions for first time callers and repeat callers. This is very important. Um, with Google Ads mobile click to call, if you want to have your own separate tracking number um, for mobile click to calls, you can use this. You can use this setting and it's still very straightforward, very easy. Uh, the next thing you need to do is, this is very important, is the JavaScript snippet. So what's the purpose of this JavaScript snippet? So in the previous step before, what we did was we uh, got four numbers and we purchased something called a website pool. And what this website pool is, is that it's one of four numbers and Callwheel is going to swap between one of those four numbers so that way it can capture the keyword data, the session data, and all this great information. Um, so in order for Callwheel to actually do that, we need to install some JavaScript snippet. And it's very easy to do. Um, you can just click here, copy on keyboard. And then what you can then do is you want to go to your ClickFunnels page, which I'm about to do. Okay, so once we're on this page, you want to go on to the settings, and then you want to paste it. It says before the body, so you can paste it um, here in the head, or you can paste it in the body tracking code as well. It's worked in either locations. I usually track it, paste it in the head tracking code, um, it, and it's fine, but click. they do recommend uh, immediately before the body tag on every page. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So then once you save that, um, it should be dynamically swapping the numbers. So, um, but if you're still having trouble, most of the time, it's just that your number may not be formatted correctly. Um, so be sure I always do it in like this format here, uh, you know, just all dashes and all that stuff. Um, but Colorado should be able to recognize most of the formats. So whether you have it as this, or if you have it as this, um, if you can see the top of my screen, five. Um, usually I have numbers set up as this, and Carl is able to recognize that and sw and uh, swap it as well. So if you do all those things, your conversion tracking is going to be on point, and um, you're going to get accurate conversion tracking data. Uh, from lead form submissions and phone calls and um, with that you are you pretty much done everything with conversion tracking you set it up in less than 15 minutes and you're ready to start the google ads campaign and get some more leads so if you want to see of course an a to z video on how to um you know do some keyword research click on the video up there and i'll show you how to do just that see you guys in that video take care